2011, I think, is going to be a year of, uh, of massive uh, experimentation and exploration. Um, you know, you can expect to see merchants, issuers, uh, you know, doing kind of point solutions, experimenting, understanding the consumer uptake, the, you know, what they're looking for, all of which I think advances the dialogue and the, de the development and deployment of NSC here in the U.S. Uh, you know, at ISIS, we, pr we particularly find that favorable in terms of really starting to shape the minds of consumers and uh, demonstrate to them that their mobile phone can do more than all the many apps it does today, right? That it can actually help them with their shopping experiences uh, and really provide them with new ways to shop, pay, and save. The, the interesting question, of course, is you know, how will all the industry stakeholders you know, align and benefit from the evolution of NFC uh, here in the US? Uh, you know, what ISIS is trying to do is really create an open ecosystem uh, for all issuers, all merchants, all carriers and the consumers that you know, they provide service to, being able to participate in an open system. You know, today, all these individuals are left to really build their own point solutions, invest in the technology independently. Uh, I kind of refer to it as you know, having, having to basically buy the cow. Uh, with ISIS, you know, we're hoping to be able to do it once, do it for all, so that you can really buy the milk right, and get the value without the upfront capital investment. Uh, for a, whether it's a merchant or an issuer trying to develop an app and a capability for consumers, it's a daunting challenge uh, to be able to develop an app that will fit all of their consumers' desires and needs what, and really focus on issues like, you know, what handsets, what operating systems, what manufacturers, you know, is, is my consumer using? And, you know, the last thing that a merchant or an issuer wants to do is end up with a a technology help desk, right, to help their consumer with implementing the technology and asking questions like, well, have you updated the latest operating system for your Android phone? Uh, so we're really trying to solve the consumer side technology so that everybody else can get what they're really trying to get, which is a deeper relationship with the consumer. As much as I've talked about, you know, merchants broadly, issuers broadly, you know, the real question today, you know, with this audience is, you know, how does this fit into transit? Now, the good news is that when we talk to consumers about the mobile wallet technology and the concept, really, 86% um, of them say that they would like to, like to use it. So, I mean, they're big fans of the, the topic. But one of the key questions they ask that really will guard and gauge their, their use is, where can I use it, right? It's great that I've got this technology on the handset, but which merchants accept it? Where can I use it? And really what it comes down to is frequency and volume of transactions. That's the way the consumer ultimately measures utility. So if I do 20 transactions a week, how many of those can I use this technology? How many places can I tap and pay? And transit is one of the few merchant verticals, if I can kind of call transit a merchant vertical, where consumers, for those who use it, use it twice a day. That's unbelievable. You know, even coffee, right, which is a daily ritual for many of us, is a once a day transaction. QSR, drugstore, convenience, uh, you know, petroleum. These are all things that we tend to use maybe once or twice a week. You know, even, even lunch, right, at your lunch break during work, sure, you eat every day for lunch and you may actually not brown bag it, you may go out and find somewhere to get, you know, get, get a meal, but it, you, know, you try to mix it up. It's not the same restaurant every day. So when you think about the weekly, daily, and then every day, transit really stands out as a place where if I'm a transit user, if the only thing I can do with this is get on my train or my bus every day for my daily commute, that alone is sufficient utility. Everything else, all the other places I can use it, are icing on the cake. So we see, and the consumers have told us this, that transit is just a killer app in terms of use of the mobile wallet.